In this week's episode, we'll get an inside look at some new clubs that make Del Oro a better place and find out if the new teachers are truly Golden Eagles. We'll also have an honorable recap and a tribute to those lost 13 years ago, so stay tuned. Good morning, Eagles, and welcome to Season 5 of Del Oro News. I'm Ashlyn Hennigy. And I'm Emma Claire Brock. Let's get to the news. The freshman barbecue was going to be today, but has been postponed. If you are part of the class of 2018 and want to enjoy some delicious food, then keep checking in with the Daily Bulletin to find out the new date. Class of 2017, that's you sophomores, needs to pick up their Chromebooks tonight in the library. The grading period ends tomorrow, so if your grade isn't what you wanted it to be, I hope you can fix it in 24 hours before it gets sent home to your parents. The ACT is this Saturday. Taking an ACT or SAT is necessary if you want to get into a four-year college. College applications are just a few months away, so seniors make sure you keep up with your senior checklist. The College and Career Center is also hosting college presentations. During this stressful time of college applications, make sure you take care of yourself so you don't end up sick and miserable like me. If you are unsatisfied with your school picture or are just a butt munch like Mr. Reader and didn't get your picture taken the first time, never fear because Makeup Picture Day is next Thursday, September 18th. The new school year has just begun, and that means there are many new opportunities to find your interests. Take a look at some of the new clubs on campus. One of the new additions is the Mahjong Club. Here you can learn how to play a classic Japanese game. It meets Thursdays at 3 o'clock in room 108. Another new club is the Enhancement Club. This club strives to make Delora a beautiful place by cleaning up the campus. It meets after school on Wednesdays in room 305. Reflection Club is a club that promotes healthy self-image and provides a safe place to express your insecurities in order to build your self-confidence. This club meets Thursdays at 7.15 in room 112. And lastly, there's the Young Filmmakers and Broadcasters Club, or YFAB. This club offers an opportunity for students to learn and practice filmmaking and broadcasting skills, produce several live events on campus and in the community, and create short films and newscasts for regional and national competitions. If you're interested in this club, come to meetings on Wednesdays in room 306. Go to the school website to see more information on these amazing clubs or other extracurricular activities. Make these four years count by getting involved in themes you enjoy. Speaking of clubs, we are here with Cheyenne Waldrop and Matthew Hawks, members of the ASL club here to sign us five deaf facts in celebration of Deaf Awareness Month. Thanks Cheyenne and Matt. If you want to learn sign, go to room 114 on Wednesdays at 3 o'clock for ASL Club. Besides new clubs, there are so many new teachers this year. That's right. We asked them a few questions about their experiences at Del Oro.
If you see these teachers around campus, make sure you give them a nice warm eagle welcome. Last week, your band, cheerleaders, and varsity football team traveled to Oceanside to play Helix for the Honor Bowl to show appreciation for our military veterans. It was a tough game for the Eagles with a final score of 34-10 Helix. The next football game is this Saturday against Vista Moretta at 7.30. Be sure to come support your team. On a more serious note, today is the 13th anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attack on the Twin Towers in New York City. We would like to take a few moments to remember the victims of that day. Good evening. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. This is something that you've seen on live television just unfolding. Uh, haven't seen anything like this ever before develop on live television in New York. Again, your estimation, what type of plane did... did Either did an Airbus uh, A320 style or a Boeing 730. I remember turning on the radio and I could tell something big was happening, you know, just by... But I couldn't really, like, make sense uh, at first of what, what actually happened. The biggest thing I remember... Um, that's when the, when the towers actually came down. You know, it's one thing to the planes, you know, crashing in, and you're like, wow, that's unbelievable. And then all of a sudden, you know, a couple hours later, you're watching these huge buildings just crumble and, and realizing that um, you know, there's probably a lot of people in there. And, and uh, it was, it was uh, just uh, one of those days. And in, in, in a lot of ways, you know, it felt like um, there was this uh, changing of the world. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, it, like something dramatic had changed and we were going to be changed for forever. And I did a lot of flying at the time. And so I remember, you know, the initial, uh, uh, probably a month or two afterwards, I was on a, on a plane and going through airport screenings and stuff like that and thinking, wow, this is the new normal. I'm Ashlyn Hennigy. And I'm Emma Claire Brock. You stay golden, Eagles.